and i am dr divya madan welcome back to my youtube channel uh, as you all know that neat pg 2022 counseling has begun 15th of september and uh, many of you are preparing for that counseling many of you have got amazing ranks and i really want to congratulate uh, all of those that uh, your hard work has finally paid off and you are entering into a new whole different uh, segment of your life residency residency is a really tough space and a uh, good arena for your growth so uh, this video is for all of those uh, who uh, are planning to opt for md pediatrics or dnb pediatrics or want to enter the field of pediatrics uh, regarding the preference of the colleges that you should uh, bring down uh, in your counseling section and also a few things that i have learned uh, through uh, more than 2 years of my residency some things that i didn't know and i feel like if i knew them beforehand uh, things would have been much easier so first of all uh, i would like to introduce something about this md pediatrics uh, it is a core clinical branch we all know that and duty hours won't be as favorable as those in radiology or dermatology uh, that opd hours and the rest of the day you have to your own Uh, you will have night duties. You will have day duties. You have eighteen hours, twenty-four hour duty that stretch. So these points you should keep in mind if you are someone who feels like uh, there should be a balance between your personal life and professional life, and you should have a time to cultivate your own hobbies. Then this is going to be tough because of the duty hours and the demand of the branch, right? the third part is the challenges uh, that this branch offers obviously uh, the ever evolving physiology when it comes to pediatrics no neonate is different from an infant and an infant is different from a toddler a toddler is different from an adolescent and so on so the ever changing physiology uh, learning about the doses of the drugs the procedures are uh, difficult as compared to adults when it comes to cannulation sampling doing an lp bone marrow intubating a child central line placement all of these pr procedures obviously they pose a different challenge uh, as compared to adults also counseling an anxious parent is very difficult uh, so if you are someone uh, who is bad at counseling and uh, has literally no patience or very less patience in dealing with anxious parents then uh, you will be facing a lot of difficulty and last but not the least consoling a child you'll get the hang of it but initially it is really daunting if you cannot make a crying child uh, calm down because you also get frustrated and uh, you're also not getting enough examination done or a uh, sampling or any procedure done on a crying child right so uh, these three challenges being a core clinical branch of duty hours and the challenge of dealing with smaller children so don't go half heartedly into it if you are really passionate about it and you are really sure about it keeping in mind all these challenges that you are going to face then only going to this uh, branch and opt for this branch now coming to choosing your college first of all uh, when it comes to choosing md pediatrics the closing rank for general category is uh, 4 to 5k this is for a government setup for md pediatrics you can get the college through all india state counseling uh, so this is a preference uh, that i have made uh, based on my experience uh number one would always be central institutes a uh, central institutes as you all know they have their own advantages central institute followed by colleges in delhi because they have uh, more exposure there third would be a college closer to your hometown or families and fourth would be metro cities uh these can be interchangeable depending on your personality if you are someone who is uh, not that outgoing Uh, someone uh, who finds it very difficult to adapt to the situations not good at making friends then uh, obviously you should choose uh, a college closer to your hometown or family because residency is a tough time for everyone and it becomes easier if uh, you have a support system around right so it's better if you choose uh, a college closer to your hometown or family 
otherwise if you don't have any problems uh, then uh, metro cities obviously go for metro cities fifth would be um, a college where there is a dedicated pediatric unit the college i work in sms medical college there is a separate pediatric hospital having pediatric medicine as well as pediatric surgery with various pediatric sub specialties like neurology cardiology rare diseases hematology oncology so it has a lot of exposure and better uh, care i believe so go for the colleges that offer a dedicated pediatric unit and lastly comes the bond the colleges uh, without bond should be preferred uh, uh, as compared to those without bond so this is my list of as to how you should choose the college so all the best for the counseling and i hope you get the college of your dreams and you have the best time of your life uh, during this beautiful period beautiful and daunting period of residency see you next time in another video happy learning bye bye